Today I want to talk about chord substitutions before I move on to making some music. A couple of things here I think are very useful to know, so I'll share them with you. I'm only going to cover the chords of the major scale here because they are the most common ones. So as you may know, we get those chords by stacking a couple of thirds on each scale degree. The one chord, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here's how this sounds chords. Sometimes they are also referred to by the name of their function. For example, the one chord is the tonic, the four chord the subdominant, and the five chord the dominant. Now these functions can also be taken on to some degree by other chords. That's where the chord substitution comes in. The one chord, for example, easily substitutes with the six chord. Maybe you noticed that they share two common notes. To a slightly lesser extent, the three chord can also substitute as a tonic. Those two chords also have two notes in common. The four chord you can easily substitute with the two chord and maintain its subdominant function. For the five chord, the prime substitute chord is the seven. Because of the tritone in it, it's very dissonant and in a pop music context, it's very seldomly used. Instead, the three chord can sometimes be used. Note though that its function is not really a dominant one. This has to do with the semitones in the major scale and how they work as guide tones. But anyway, here's a practical example. I've got a little melody prepared here. This goes on for 10 measures in a similar manner, so I'll skip ahead. I also have a bass line that uses 4, 5 and 6 and works nicely with the melody. Let's hear them together. Let's hear how it sounds if I replace 4 with 2. Still works nicely with the melody. I'm gonna substitute 5 with 3. I put it back and now I'm gonna substitute 6 with 3. You can see there are many viable options and they all sound great with the melody. This is great to create a little bit of variation. In this case, I purposely chose different pattern lengths for bass and melody. 10 bars for the melody and 6 for the bass line. Three two bar patterns with different substitutions. So the whole thing only repeats after all 30 bars. Let's hear it in action. Focus your intention on the bass line. Can you tell which chord substitutions are being used? This is where the bass line repeats. And this is where the melody repeats. There are many applications for this. Oftentimes it's also cool to only slightly mix things up. It can be a powerful tool for songwriting, for example. Maybe you only want to substitute that four chord with the two chord in the last line of a second verse to bring out that twist in the lyrics before the second chorus. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and that you will find your own application for this. Thank you a lot for watching. <laughs>